Hey everybody, this is Jacob Bogum, aka Schwab Cards on Instagram. I'm a sports card collector, among other things. All right guys, so today's video, it's gonna be a little different and I'm actually really excited to uh, discuss my thought process for selling off some cards that had previously been in my PC, a few of which you've already seen on a previous video, if you're a long time watcher, uh, like 10 videos in. <laughs> it's been quite, quite the uh, like three week long journey for us. But uh, that's something I think that's just not discussed enough. You'll see these big influencers like, hey, I'm selling this card, I'm selling this card, I'm selling that card. They never explain why. And I think it's because it opens up the door to um, buyers into their point of view and can sort of lend an example as to why the buyer might not want to buy it. Because if this big influencer uh, wants to sell it, well, it could be for a reason. I just had a PC uh, purge, I guess you might say. Uh, where I pulled out a few slabs and a few raw cards that just no longer uh, have a place in my collection. All right, then get the hell out of my life. Who needs you? Beat it. Leave me alone. So I'm going to walk through why that is. And if you are interested in any cards, throw me a line. I'm, I will happily listen. So here we go. All right, we'll start off with the slabs that are kind of sadly getting the boot. Uh, it's never a happy feeling to pull cards out of the PC, but sometimes it has to be done. So we'll start off this Duncan I graded myself. I've had it for a long time. It's a beautiful card, EX. Uh, I almost hate to do it, but there's a couple of reasons why. One, it's in a thick PSA slab, but it's actually a pretty skinny card. So it's just kind of annoying. Uh, the, the slab size just isn't really justified. And, I, and if it sounds nitpicky, that's because I've been in this game for 20 years. Like, when you've been around cards this long, you're gonna get more nitpicky. That's just the way it goes. Your tastes refine, little things start to irk you. You get more OCD with age. So, uh, additionally, I, I would prefer a 10 copy of this card. I think it's, I wanna say it's like less than pop 100 in PSA 10, but here's the thing. If I really want this card, if I really need it in my collection, I want the best copy. And uh, a nine just isn't gonna cut it. So, she gone. Next, we have an Igudala. This one was a toughie. The green X-Fractor, gem mint 10, numbered to 19. I think this card is pop two. Uh, unfortunately, there are a few factors working against it. I love Iggy as a player, but the green nature of the card can look cool, but against the Sixers jersey, I'd rather have the black or the red, and those refractors do exist in this year's finest. So even though those might have a higher print run or pop count, I would still prefer the look. Design matters, color matters. If I told you once, I've told you a thousand times, boys counts! Uh, additionally, this is in the old PSA slab, and that's gonna sound really nitpicky, but if you compare it, that matters to me. The, the slab looks worse, feels worse. Uh, I don't care enough to get it uh, updated to the new slab because other people don't care. So I'm gonna sell this one. I'll throw it up uh, with a high buy now or best offer and just field some offers on it. Uh, it's been a fun card to have in the collection, but they're EV dollar cards I prefer. That's what it comes down to. This one, Gary Trent, you wouldn't think much of it, but I graded this myself. He's a local guy from Apple Valley, although mind you, he did, he did leave uh, Apple Valley, <laughs> uh, abandon us for prep school, which, you know, is never, never the coolest thing in the world. Um, but uh, he's a Minnesota native, fun player to watch, good player. Uh, you know, the card in great shape. It's a good looking card, but I prefer the impact set uh, to the Chinese New Year, even though the Chinese New Year has the team color uh, foil. And because I have a preference on a different card, or I'd even prefer the red, uh, the red choice prism, the to 88 with the swirls, because I, I love that scope look. So but because I have a few other preferences to a Gary Trent Jr. rookie card, I just don't need this one. I'll probably only get 15, 20 bucks for it, but it doesn't need to be in my PC any longer. We've got this in B, the last slab. Slab this one myself as well, came back a nine. I thought it definitely could attend. This is a really nice nine copy, guys. Uh, what can I say? It's really, Crusade's one of my favorite sets. I'm not the biggest Embiid fan, but it's a really sharp looking card. It's team color, but it's a nine. I, I would prefer, on this one, I might prefer uh, a red because it's rare. I'm gonna say they're numbered to uh, like, 99 that year i forget uh, and it's also a team color so more rare uh, and i just prefer a 10 in this card if, if i really need it in my pc so because it's not the best of the best tough decisions had to be made and that's where it went 
We'll move a little quicker through these raw cards, uh, especially because some of them are just duplicates. So this was a dupe. I didn't know I already had it. Got it at a show for 50 cents. So I might not get my money back, but that's okay. This is Paul George. Uh, it's a nice team color. I love team color, but I have I got this 2012 silver in PSA 9 on a PWCC auction. And which do I prefer, the 2012 silver or the 2014 team color? I'll take the silver. I don't need this one. Again, this is a silver, uh, you can't quite tell. Yeah, no, it is. Uh, and because I have the PSA 9, I no longer need the raw copy. The Durant, I own his 2012, so it's not my first 2014 Crusade Blue I'm moving. I have the 2012 and PSA 10, that's like pop three. I prefer the first year design. It's a really rare card. It's a better looking card than the 2014, so I just don't need this one. Same sort of story on these, 2013 Crusade, I probably busted more of this product than just about any other basketball card product in my life. It was a blast. I pulled some really nice cards, notably uh, Steph Curry on card auto that I still have and a Giannis rookie auto that I still have, both of which are in PSA 9 and worth four figures. But uh, I prefer the 2012 set in terms of design, and I have a lot of these similar cards in 2012. And so I don't need these, but th these are a great option to collect, guys. They're really nice cards. I'm almost having... <laughs> misgivings as I uh, thumb through them, but uh, no longer no longer welcome in my PC box. I'm a, I'm a harsh grader. <laughs> uh, this one, I collect this set, this Court Collection Trilogy. This is 2004, so second year for LeBron and Wade, and I do have uh, LeBron and Wade cards from this set. I actually might have moved with LeBron. I, wanna, I wanted a higher grade copy, but this was actually a duplicate. I didn't know, so I don't need dupes in my collection. This is actually a really cool one, Out of This World, Derrick Henry. Ooh, numbered 69 of 100, that's nice. Uh, it's a cool looking card, it's got a nice shimmer on it, nice sheen, it, it looks cool. I'm just, I'm not a big ultra modern guy, it's 2021. I would just rather earn, own a, a nice graded rookie of Derrick Henry, so. Flare Premium Brady, it's just a really sharp card. If I need it, I'd get a PSA 10, so I, I don't need this one. Kind of similar on this Donald. It's a nice design. It harkens back to like a stadium club sort of look. This is plates and patches, team color, numbered 260. I just have better Aaron Donald cards, so I don't need this one. This Robert Griffin, I have better. It's, it's the same sort of deal as the Donald. It's not my favorite year of Crusade design. It looks kind of cheap this year, and I have better RG3 cards. So uh, These Odell Beckhams, they're not team color. This one's to five. I, I like this Crusade design a lot more, but I don't need a full rainbow of... Uh, uh, second year Odell Beckham cards. So we're moving on. Similar story with the Rodgers. It's not team color. I like it, but I don't love it. So there it goes. Uh, Deshaun Watson, second year. This blue, it's just kind of a basic looking card, guys. It, it's not changing any collection. S some collector would love to have it for 10 bucks. So I'll move it. <sighs> a couple finest refractors here. It's just not my favorite design of finest. I prefer the early years. Uh, these are just, it's really gaudy. It's just, hey, we need a color. Boom, here's some black. So even though these are team color, Hall of Fame level players, they're players I really enjoyed watching. They just, the design just doesn't work for me. And it's kind of similar with these. You guys know I'm a big black refractor collector, but, and these are numbered to 100 rather than the 599 of uh, 2002, which kind of, and 199 of 06, and then, uh, 299 starting in 2010 but I just don't love like the pink slash purple text here the white border down here kind of throws it off just the pink and purple it just gives me the willies I don't know guys it's purple on the back here too I just don't understand the design decision and I just didn't want to look at these anymore so off they go uh, and then a few of these were dupes I just don't love this design it's an early refractor but it's kind of an ugly card honestly uh, Sproles is a dupe. I'm sending one of these to PSA, so it's duped out. Dupe, dupe. I love these team color 08 uh, chrome refractors. It's the same design as basketball, but it hasn't gotten quite the love yet. It's another one of those black ones. Again, not my favorite Crusade design. Joey Bosa, it's a nice card. I like cards to commemorate an award or an accomplishment. Uh, sorry, you can hear my dog in the background.
So I like I like cards like this. I I bought it for a reason. Number to twenty five. Team color. Bosa is a heck of a player. Defensive rookie of the year. But I fairly don't have a good reason with this one, guys. I just I don't necessarily see Bosa as a Hall of Famer, so I don't mind moving it. Gordon just not really a fan. Then these turns of the centuries. They're nice cards. I just have uh, the die cut version of both of these. And so I don't need the green, even though they're a really sharp card. 2013 Elite, both in football and basketball, is a really sharp product. So that's the story with all these guys. Uh, all the raw stuff, unless any of you guys want it, will be headed to Com C because they do all the legwork, which I appreciate. These, uh, I might consign this one on eBay. This is for sure a bin slash BO on eBay. Uh, and then I might consign these two as well. Uh, on another video, I'll explain my philosophy for where I send cards. I think it's actually really helpful and it makes my life a whole lot easier. And uh, there's definitely a logic to it. So that's everything, guys. Thanks for watching. And these are all available. See ya.